Hi, you guys. I have problem 5.63 from Yang and Friedman's University Physics textbook. This is a really juicy physics problem, if I do say so myself. Um, so thank you so much for watching. And before we get started on this problem, please don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you so much. Okay, so in a repair shop, a truck engine that has mass 409 kilograms is held in place by four light cables. Cable A is horizontal, cables B and D are vertical, and cable C makes an angle of 37.1 degrees with a vertical wall. If the tension in cable A is 722 newtons, what are the tensions in cables B and C? Okay, so we already have this gorgeous diagram for us in the bottom right corner, and we can use that to help us solve this problem. So let's just talk about it really quickly and just highlight the problem. So we can see that this engine has mass of 409 kilograms, right? So that's going to have mass of 409 kilograms and it's held together in place by four cables so we can see that that's just a b c d here in this diagram and cable a is horizontal yet we see that cable b and d are vertical we can see that too and cable c makes an angle of 37.1 degrees with a vertical wall okay yeah so right there if the tension in cable A is 722 newtons, what are the tensions in cables B and C? Okay, this question is just so much fun. And when you get enough practice, you'll probably see why it's just, it's really similar to those, remember those kinematics component questions where you sum all the y direction and the x direction, and it's just really like vector addition. Yeah, it's it's really, this problem is so similar to that. So You'll see that along the way, but for now, let's just go ahead and write down all of our knowns. So what we know is that the mass of this engine is 409 kilograms. We know that, well, we don't know. Oh, actually, so we know that cable A has tension. So I'm just going to write um, tension in A is equal to 722 newtons. Before I go ahead and do that, actually, I want to actually establish a coordinate system of positive and negative just because we can, it'll make our lives easier, right? So we said this is positive and this is positive, which means that this is going to be negative and this is going to be negative, which means that tension of A, that's going to be minus 722 newtons. Okay. So what else? We know that this angle theta is 37.1, but yeah, we can go ahead and just write 37.1 with vertical, with the vertical wall. And we don't know what tensions in cables B and C are. Okay, so for a second, you can notice here that there's no real, like, real information on D, right? And that's because they're sort of, it's kind of hidden in there. We can say that in um, D is just going to be, uh, sorry, this is just going to be FG, right? So TD is just going to be FG, right? So as we do that, we can go ahead and write this as minus MG, which is going to be minus 409 times 9.8 meters per second squared, right? I'm not going to write the meters per second. Actually, yes, I am, just for sake of completeness. Sometimes I do and sometimes I forget, but okay. 409 kg times 9.8 meters per second squared. And altogether, that gives us a TD of... of minus 4,008.2, sorry, I don't like how I wrote out my eight, 4,000, okay. Well, 
4,008.2 newtons, minus 4,008.2 newtons. So that's really all of our, those are all of our givens, okay? Now, let us go ahead and write down an equation for all the forces in this diagram. So we wanna look and recognize that this point is in equilibrium and it's really the key to this problem. If we solve, we have to, we're gonna use this sort of as our like, you know, middle reference. And we're going to, when we, you know, write our summation of forces, we're gonna write our summation of forces on this point. So our summation of forces are going to be super easy. It's just going to be TA plus TB plus TC plus TD. And we know that this point is in equilibrium, okay? So because this point's in equilibrium, that means the summation of all forces is going to be zero, zero newtons, okay? So now that's, you know, all great, but I want you to recognize that in this problem, this is, you know, there's some, um, it, it's two dimensional, right? So B and D are purely in the Y axis and part of C is in the Y axis and the X axis. And A is just in the X axis, right? So we can actually break this down further and write down our summation of forces in the X direction and the Y direction. And again, because this point is in equilibrium, right? We can, we, we know that summation of force in the X direction and Y direction is going to be zero newtons, right? But let's go ahead and actually write down our equation for this. So in the Y direction, we know that it's going to be, sorry, for FX, we know that it's going to be A, right? So tension in A plus, the tension of C, but remember, remember that we only want this component right over here, just the X component. And so the X component is going to be TC sine 37.1, right? Remember, host is close and sine is the other line, right? Fun rhyme I learned in grade 10 and I will never forget it. Okay. So that's that's our equation. There's no other force that's really in the x direction. So we we don't need to, we're done here. Okay, so now what about for y? For y, we know that it's going to be Tb plus Td plus, you know, a component of Tc. So plus Tc cos 37.1, because now we're looking for this component right over here. Okay, got it. So all we have to do now is solve. We need to solve for, we need to solve for TC and TB, right? So we need to solve for, I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight these. I haven't highlighted in a while, but yeah, we're gonna highlight TC. Oh, that's not, that wasn't a highlight. Not a highlight again, okay. TC and TB, right? So those are the values that we're looking for. Now, how do we do that? Now it's just going to be a matter of algebra, right? So here we have two unknowns in the equation, but here we only have one unknown. So if we solve for TC, we can plug that in here and then we only have to solve for TB after. Makes sense. Okay, so let's do it. So for one, zero is equal to TA is a minus 722 newtons plus TC sine 37.1. And I'm just gonna take out newtons just because we don't need to have a letter in there while we're just doing algebra, right? It's just math and isolate for TC. So when I isolate for TC, I'm going to get 722 is equal to TC sine 37.1, 722 divided by sine 37.1 is equal to TC. And TC 
plugging into my calculator, I am getting eleven ninety six point nine, right? So eleven ninety six point nine newtons. So that is what I'm getting for TC. And that is what I got uh, when I did this problem on, on my own as well. So just double checking. Okay, so now for two. For two, mm, okay, actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and erase this portion just because we were done with it. PC is, we said, 1196.9 newtons, right? That's just, that's the magnitude, right? Okay. And now for two. For two, we are going to say that it's going to be zero newtons is equal to TB plus TD plus TC cos 37.1. And zero is equal to TB, we have no idea. Actually, let's isolate for TB. So really it's just going to be TB is equal to minus td minus tc cos 37.1 okay so tb is equal to minus td which is going to be this so minus minus that means 4008.2 right and then minus tc so it's going to be Mm. Okay, so it's going to be minus. Should that be it? Sorry, give me one second. Just to make sure that I'm doing this right. Okay, yes, absolutely, that makes complete sense. Sorry, it just took me a second. But to make sure that I'm, you know, following along, I didn't make a plus or minus mistake somewhere. But okay, yes, so minus TD is, so we said that this is going to be, you know, actually, I think to not confuse even myself, I should probably just like literally write it out the way that it's supposed to be. Rano, sorry, just using... Oh, you know what? I know what the problem is. My Apple Pen isn't working. Okay, give me a second again. Sorry about that. Okay, sorry, back for my technical difficulties. Okay, so, okay. So yeah, before I'm saying I'm gonna erase this and just rewrite it as to not confuse myself and just to be up, make up. Make sure that I'm not confusing anyone else either. Is anyone, what is happening? Okay, my eraser isn't working. Okay, I figured out the problem for real this time. I think it's just a Zoom limitation. If I pause something, then I can't go back and erase it. Okay, so, all right. Now, looking back, okay, focus. So, TB is equal to minus TD. So, minus, and then TD, which is minus 4,008.2, right? Minus TC. So now I want to direct your attention towards something. I also feel like maybe you can go ahead and draw this diagram like before or later, but for X, this, this we can go ahead and draw out our components, right? So in the X direction, we had A, right? We had TA, and then we had, you know, component TCX, right? 
In the y direction, we have T B, then we have T D, and then we have T C Y, right? So for T C, we're going to have to do minus because we're in the downward direction, right? So minus, minus 1196. Point nine cos 37.1, right? Because over here we had to put minus because we're going down and we had to put minus because we had to carry this minus from here. And here we're carrying down this minus and we have to put minus again because we are looking down. I hope that's clear. That's a little bit confusing, but if you don't like how many minus signs are, you can also just Put TB, you can do a minus, you can do minus TB, and then you'll just have positive TB plus TC cos 37.1. In which case you'll only have to handle or work with these minuses, right? Okay. Anyways, that it's it's really just you know math, but if you are a little bit confused, you can rewind and rewatch, and hopefully that'll make it a little bit more clear. But okay, so now, all we have to do is we have to add this all together. So TB, and that's going to be 4,008.2 plus 1196.9 cos 37.1. And when I do that, I get TB is equal to 490. 4,4962.8 newtons. And this is going to be, um, yeah, positive. That makes sense because it's in the upward direction. So that is our, that's our answer for TB. So yeah, that's our solution for the entire problem. The end is a little bit confusing, but ultimately it's just, um what's integral multiplication or i forget what it's called oh my god it's been so long just when you have like minus minus that makes plus 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 makes plus plus minus means minus minus plus sign division i don't remember what it's called but it's just that thing really but okay so that is our solution and i hope it was helpful if you have any questions comments concerns Please don't, please don't hesitate to send me an email or leave it in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.